Weighed in human costs, it is the Chinese who have paid the highest price for their rocket failures. To compete for their share of the satellite business, the Chinese government developed the Long March, a 421,000 pound rocket standing 92 feet tall. The Chinese space program is entirely different than the U.S. program, the European program, even the Russian program. And much of their program was under very, very spartan and tough circumstances. They were basically trying to build rockets at a time when they were also trying to feed their people under famine conditions. On January 26, 1995, this Long March II lifted off from its pad in rural China, with curious local villagers looking on in awe. Within seconds, it had strayed off course and exploded. Six villagers perished when it crashed near the pad. But that was just a precursor to an even more tragic event one year later. On February 14, 1996, the Long March 3 rocket sat on the very same pad as its ill-fated predecessor. Immediately after liftoff, it was clear the rocket was not going to go where its makers wanted it to go. The rocket came crashing to Earth just seconds after launch. Initial reports of the failure's impact were murky as foreign observers were kept sequestered in a bunkhouse for five hours before being released. This footage was taken secretly from a bus as visitors were whisked away from the disaster site. You see the soldiers standing there, but they had to then go out and do cleanup in a massive rural area. I think that explains why they needed this five hour time period to get it looking as good as it did to then shuffle the foreign visitors through and get it. Get as the reports trickled out, the world soon became aware of an unprecedented human catastrophe. Observers estimate as many as 500 innocent people were killed in the accident. That certainly makes it the worst space launch accident in terms of loss of life. And even more than earlier Russian accidents, these were rural villagers. These were just people who, who happened to live in the area. The Chinese government blamed the rocket's failure on an unexpected gust of wind.